Every time I see smokers, the compassion in me feels pain for this person. The natural smug nature, elemental in humanity, causes me to feel pity and disdain. And I feel perplexed because not too many people will tell you that they have no self-confidence or self-esteem. But there's no other way to see a person who's smoking than as someone who has no self-esteem or has an injured self-esteem, has problems with confidence, has problems with self-control. And yet most people would probably put up a good argument when they feel offended, a good fight when they feel attacked, but they have no power to stop this addiction. They have no power to feel that they should be free of this slavery. They have no power to feel that they should want to say, fuck you, tobacco industry. You whom I make rich, as you have done nothing but addict me for your profit. And they know there's no other reason for the product that they buy at high expense. And if nothing else, they're either deluded by some religious viewpoint or they're deluded by this idea that it's actually good for them to relax. But most of all, they have to be ignorant because they, they would rather put this product into their body, which they know is harming them. The problem is they don't know to what extent. Most smokers don't realize they're putting radioactive polonium, lead, and cadmium into their bodies. Most smokers don't think enough to realize that they're contaminating the whole human race because if they haven't had children yet, and they do have children, they're passing on damaged DNA to their children, thus they are mutating the gene pool. So the whole argument which says, oh, I have a right to do this, is really false because you don't have a right to damage the species. And that's what they're doing. Just as we're doing that when we eat plastic, when we damage our immune systems and then our DNA because we don't eat right. But there's no act more representative of ignorance and lack of concern for the human species and for yourself than smoking. I mean, all the bad things the human race has created had some other positive purpose. Even nuclear weapons were there in the spirit of detente to both protect us and prevent our enemies from attacking us. Cigarettes do nothing for anybody, nothing. If you want to say, well, they provide labor and so income, people get jobs doing other things all the time, right? People don't engage in slavery unless they are the lowest form of human being in certain parts of the world. But the cigarette companies do. They enslave you. Every time I see a smoker, I want to say, well, I used to want to say, hey, don't do that to yourself. Now I'm more prone to say, don't do that to me. I walk a lot, as you can see. And when you walk around Manhattan, every so often you realize you're inhaling cigarette smoke. Someone else has forced you to do that. You didn't want to do that. Tin is also in cigarette smoke, which causes Alzheimer's. I read it in an article that talks about where you're getting your Alzheimer's from. And it says, every time you inhale cigarette smoke, you're inhaling more tin. A smoker gets more radiation in his body, I learned, than an astronaut or an airline pilot. A smoker gets the equivalent of 300 checks x-rays a year, on average. Why do this to yourself? Right? You could vape. But even vaping is putting out enormous amounts of water into the atmosphere. Water vapor is one of the most egregious global warming gases. And for people who think smoking is cool, I can't understand them at all. 
young kids today, they don't have the same excuse that young kids had when our parents were young. Everybody knows what cigarettes do. In our parents' day, doctors did cigarette ads because people actually thought there was a benefit. What the hell is the excuse of young people today? How could they be so stupid? It's the religion. It's the religion of youth. You think you're going to be around forever. I cannot understand you smokers at all. You're just a damage to yourself and a damage to everybody else. Everywhere you go, you're spewing radiation, nuclear radiation, as well as arsenic, rat poison, carbon monoxide, car smoke, right? There are 7,000 chemicals burning in the average cigarette. They should be banned. And that has been what I've been saying to people. But now I want to say to people, just stop. Have some balls, have some guts, care about yourself and others and stop being a slave. Stop paying corporations to murder you and all of us.